Hello, this is Chris Tang. Uh, I am currently in Lexington, Massachusetts, uh, the better of the Lexingtons that I've been to after seeing one KFC in Kentucky. Um, my current outfit is a free shirt I got for volunteering at Special Olympics in high school. Uh, still fits, I guess. <laughs> and some pants that have been stained with a lot of flour. That would be flour. Um, why, do you ask? This goes along with the last thing I ate, which was one of my own manto. Manto are Chinese bread that's steamed. So, water-based cooking for you. There's my steamer. I have some going right now. Uh, today, my brother and I made a bunch of bread. Let me show off what we have for you. You have whole wheat and white flour. Um, here you have the classic mento round. We have some adapted honey bun things that I invented when I was six, which is really not conventional sugar and honey and stuff in the bread. And we have some red bean paste filled ones. Those sabo, really good. I haven't tried them yet. Um, this would be our first run of making these baozi. <laughs> it's not completely successful, I don't think. I think we could have done it better, but it was a good test run and it worked. Um, trying to get as close to my grandmother's recipe as possible. And here you will see, hopefully, Hua ah. Jian. Little twirled up guys that have scallions and salt. So we have a range of sweet and salty carbs. It was a journey into carb world. I am still currently cleaning up, but I've done a lot of it already. Okay, anyway, um, a funny face of my choosing. Since this is the road trip, well, post-road trip vlog, I will give you this face. I almost started crying. Um, the explanation behind that face is that it is what was on my face when we were driving behind a truck full of poop. I believe it was cows, but then we found out it was an empty truck, so maybe they just dropped off the cows, and we literally saw poop fall off the edge of the truck onto the road. It was really bad. Yeah, it was, it was super bad. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. What have I been doing since I got back? Uh, basically, I've just been relaxing playing a lot of video games with my little brother, uh, sleeping a lot more than I have in a while, so good and bad, I think. Uh, I've been catching up with people, going to meet up with some old friends tomorrow. Uh, started reading some books, have some Dostoevsky over there on the table to be reading, um, starting my fundraising stuff, uh, setting up volunteering with uh, the Chinatown ministry that I'm going to be working with this summer. Mm. My favorite place on a trip would have to be... I really like the river that we were rafting down. Um, it was just really natural looking, water-based, fun rapids, uh, some rain, some sun, a lot of trees. It was nice. Uh, so I like that place. But I probably wouldn't live in West Virginia. It seems a little out of the way. I think I would actually consider living in Colorado. Um, it's a nice place, a little high up, but it's good for altitude training, I guess. People seem to be nice, relatively diverse. So, somewhere in Colorado, maybe. Um, which place surprised me the most? Oh, yes. Which place surprised me the most? That would be West Virginia, as I said many times. Um, it was still really surprising that it was so lush and beautiful, especially to drive through. Maybe not to live there, but... Um, I was surprised. I thought it was going to be a wasteland, to be honest. Uh, favorite food eaten on the trip? I really like that Indian food we had the second to last day. Oh no, the day in Flagstaff, Fort Grand Canyon. That was the most amazing Indian food ever. I think it just tasted so good. I think the Indian food also has a special place in my heart because of my trip to Ethiopia, where it was one of the foods we ate when we wanted to go somewhere nice. It was really good and rich, but now it's also extra special because we ate it on the trip, and I really liked it. So that place is really good. Um, my favorite memory from the trip, oh shoot, I didn't even, that's a hard question. Um, 
I liked I liked watching the sunset in Grand Canyon. It was just nice that everyone was there. It was really peaceful. We were trying to eat. <laughs> it was just nice. I think it was just a really calm moment um, of us all being there and enjoying what God created and also taking in something really beautiful together. That was a really nice moment. Um, probably close up there would also be just when we were talking. Mm, sometimes just in the car. Uh, there's a lot of moments like that, but with the sun shining, maybe West Virginia when we were driving and talking, uh, with T Swift in the background. Yeah, what up? Oh, oh yeah, that reminds me also when mm, I think me and Anna, maybe Diane, uh, we're just like singing and jamming to a lot of songs on my random songs playlist. That was awesome. Um, and to Sarah Burrell's and stuff. Um, okay, next. Who surprised me the most on the trip and why? Mm, probably Diane, just because I don't... Yeah, I don't think I've actually really had deep conversation with Diane until the trip. So it was cool to hear from her, but that wasn't what was surprising. I assumed that she had more secretive and fun stories to tell. But... Um, I think just how easily it was to read her <laughs> based on her physical needs. Uh, it was easy to tell whether she was hungry or tired or full or happy or not just by how she was acting and that was really cool I guess. I mean it was an interesting thing to learn to do for that week. Um, <clears throat> I think I, I think the trip really opened up my eyes to different ways of being. Um, just different ways of life uh, across the country. Shoot, I had to actually tend to my bugs that are actually done. One second, I'll come back to that. So weird. Just if I'm video logging. Urgh. Weird. Crap, I'm screwed. a lot because I use this hand to just pick up some burning hot things. Um, my mom just got home too, so she got to see. But this is what I just made. You look okay. Okay, anyway, ways I grew. Uh, definitely opened my eyes to the world outside of the bubble. Um, the bubble is, I just, sh okay, whatever. Um, anyway, I just forgot to do a, a chore. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it just opened my eyes to a world outside of Princeton striving and studying and just, like, people who wouldn't think about going to medical school and are totally happy with that. Um, people who live in totally different parts of the world with totally different types of standards of living and entertainment. Um, yeah, I think it was really humbling and also just eye-opening. gave me some perspective on things that would traditionally occupy my mind. Um, I knew the last words, this is getting really long, but I miss everyone a lot. Uh, hope you guys are doing really well. Hope you guys uh, keep updating us on your lives. And uh, I don't know, it was just really awesome to be able to spend a lot of time with you guys because I don't think we got very much of that during school. And it was definitely awesome to, I keep saying awesome, it was fantastic and terrific. And, a dream to be able to just hang out uh, for two straight weeks. So thanks for that. Also, thanks for bearing with me when I got grumpy, when I got tired and hungry, uh, and or both, um, as the rest of us also always do. <sighs> um, from time to time. Um, always was wrong. Um, the dance moves. I'm not going to show you guys the dance moves because. They're mine, so it's fine that I don't just do it right. <laughs> anyway, there's bugs around my stuff. You wanna say hi, Joseph? No. Say hi. Say hi. No. He doesn't want to say hi. Okay, bye.